Hello everybody, today I'm here to do another unboxing. Yes, a lot of unboxings, I know. Anyway, today's unboxing is fairy loot. I would show you the top, but it's covered up with like a packing invoice, so can't really show you the logo, but either way, today's fairy loot. If you didn't know, fairy loot is a YA book box that comes monthly. Fairy loot specifically caters to the YA fantasy genre, so if you're interested in fantasy, definitely check out fairy loot. They are UK based, and shipping can be a little bit pricey if you live in the States, but I have a coupon code for you. I think it's if you use the code bookables you get 5% off I want to say like a three or six month plan I'll leave the details down below. So fairy loot is themed each month. This month's theme is villains and I know we're getting two books in this box and I've already guessed both of them so I'm really excited about that. Without further ado let's open up fairy loot and see what's inside because their boxes are always amazing. I'll leave all their links down below. The first thing I see is their card they have every month. This one's villains. It looks very villainesque. Um, oh it's villainous. Excuse me. I was wrong. I thought it was just villains. And on the back gonna have the spoiler warning for you letting you know what's all in the box so I'll be referring to that but either way I love their posters each month like they're so good this one definitely looks like a very villainous theme so that's awesome next thing I see is a candle I love getting candles this is from Meraki candles and it's in the um scent oh my gosh I always butcher this Maleficent you know the villain from Sleeping Beauty and this is a fairy loot exclusive I believe the scents are Jade Orchid and Lotus Bloom which should be interesting. Probably going to be a lot of like floral kind of scents, I would say. Oh, on the inside, it's green and it's got like glitter in it. That's awesome. It smells, it does, it smells very floral. I actually really like it. I think this would be a great spring candle, honestly. It smells really good. Like, I'm surprised I like it because sometimes bookish candles are kind of hit or misses. Um, this one is really good. Also, I really enjoy it, and it's a pretty decent size. I really enjoy bookish candles. I do end up using them, especially through travel sizes and stuff, because it's just, I don't know, I just like using them, and then I'll save the tin afterwards. Let me know what you do with your bookish candles. Thing I see comes this little pouch right here. I think it's a, like a pocket mirror. We get a lot of these. Sometimes I'm not a huge fan of them because I don't use pocket mirrors a lot, but I still save them. And this one has a quote on it like that and it says everyone has a darkness inside them however hidden oh this is a quote from the young elites by marie Lu. i just read that trilogy this year actually it was one of my goals of the entire year was to finally finish that trilogy and i did and i really enjoyed it i think if you're looking for a great like kind of villain origin story to definitely check out the young elites because oh, a main character that's grappling with like good like right versus wrong and sometimes she does the wrong thing and she's okay with it so it's kind of like a villain origin story so this is great i love it actually i will save this because I do really enjoy the young ladies and I would highly recommend it. The next thing I see is a pin and I think it's perfect. It is a Death Eater pin. How freaking cool is that? This is literally perfect for Halloween. Like I kind of want to throw this on my shirt right now because <laughs> I think it's just perfect. So this is a Death Eater enamel pin. You know the Death Eater has their logo. It's like a skull with the snake coming out of it and it's awesome. I love how the snake's glittery too so it's like scary but also kind of cute in a way. I don't know, but this is great. This is a fairly loose exclusive. It's from How Store Official. I love this a lot. This is my favorite thing I think so far right now because, I mean, it's Harry Potter and I definitely am going to use it because I have a, it's finally cold enough here where I can wear like a light jacket and I've been throwing a couple of pins on it. Like I'll change them up every week and this one is definitely going to go on it. That's awesome. I really enjoy this. Next thing I see is a coaster. I've been getting a lot of coasters lately and I really enjoy them because I think coasters are actually very practical. <laughs> so I do use the coasters they're great because we have guests over a lot so they're like where's the coaster I'm like boom use one of my many bookish ones got you covered this one says every fairy tale needs a good old-fashioned villain and I 100% agree I love fairy tales yes but I think the villain is what really makes that fairy tale you have to have your protagonist have an antagonist you have to have something they fight against and it's always great to have a really good villain like you know it's a good book when you love the villain like you hate them but you love them all at the same time so villains are great then I'm seeing a few prints the first one it looks like a little card thing okay it's from the language of thorns and it kind of like opens up so I think this is all the stories that are within the language of thorns by Lee Barduga so we have the witch of Duva um, which is right here we have the too clever fox which is right here in the middle then we have Amaya and the Thornwood, which is right here, and then we flip it around and turn it upside down. And, no, don't turn it upside down, I think, I don't know. When Water sang Fire, right here. This one is the Soldier Prince, right here, and the last one is Little Knife, so that's great. So I think that these are all 
the six stories from the language of thorns is it six stories either way this is really cool i love the way it looks it looks kind of vintage and i love the art in language of thorns like holy crap i kind of wish they were all vertical though because you could just slam like this and but they're all horizontal if that makes any sense so I don't know, but either way, this is really cool. I enjoy that a lot. All right, I have, we have, is says, if I cannot move heaven, then I will raise hell. And this is from Virgil the Ahend. This is like a classic story, right? It's a quote from the Ahend by Virgil, a Roman poet. The original of its course is written in Roman, but you might be familiar with this quote because of Sebastian Morgenstern from Cassandra Clare's Mortal Instruments. I totally forgot about that. He said that in the, um, in the books he was a great villain holy crap that dude was creepy as mess but i loved reading about him again this is designed by evie i think it is beautiful and stunning this could go great in like a frame and the other print we're getting is a night of cake and poppets and this is from a night in of cake and puppets this is by laney taylor this is her new kind of um illustrated story i think it's like a short story within i want to say the daughter of smoke and bone world which i have yet to really know and it says life doesn't need magic to be magical but a little bit sure doesn't hurt so that's beautiful and on the back it tells you about um there's the night of cake and puppets um and this is strength to general which i have read this year that's awesome and i really enjoyed it so okay and that's all the bookish goodies you're getting and now we're getting into the two books this month Damn. That is so awesome. The first book you're getting is A Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is an exclusive, how it's a cloth cover. Is it a cloth cover or it's just like a hardback? Um, there's no dust jacket to it, but I love it. The text is raised. You can feel it. It's just beautiful. Look on the back too. And like I said, this is illustrated. I want to say this has six stories in it. Let's see. Yes, The Two Clever Fox. Yeah, it's the six stories. So like those things I showed you. And it's all kind of illustrated. If you, I'm going to have a really hard time flipping through this. I'll do like close-ups. But either way, it's illustrated all throughout it. It looks really, really cool. I think it's awesome. I love the way they illustrate it. It kind of goes along with the story. Like it'll start off really small. If you can see, like it starts off with each story like a little illustration then as the page progresses the illustration grows and by the end you have like a full illustration like this one like that's amazing i love the way she did that so if you didn't know this is a um it's six short stories that are kind of set in the grisha world and i think you can read this even without reading both of the um series which i have yet to read i've only read her six of prose duology but i still plan to read it very very soon i love it i think it's beautiful so this is an exclusive edition you won't be able to find the cover with this red foiling anywhere oh that's awesome this is beautiful i am so happy to have this it's so heavy too I love that. This is stunning. Like, I can't get over how stunning this is. This might be one of my favorite book covers in the entire year. Ah, I love that so much. We have the actual book of the month. So it always comes in this little bag for protection. It's happy reading on the back. And then you open it up, and then you see what's inside. This month's book is Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Deo. I can't yet have around that, but either way, look at this cover. So, and the spine. Look at the spine freaking stunning. This book I believe is kind of a villain origin story as well. The Snow White retelling I think only like of the evil queen set in Eastern Asia. So this is about like the evil queen and like the Snow White story of obviously it's gonna have a different spin on it and stuff but it's gonna be from like the evil queen's perspective which I am super excited to read. I've read a few Snow White like retellings here and there. I haven't really found one that I've really fallen in love with. I did enjoy Winter by Marissa Meyer a lot but it wasn't my all-time favorite of that. This one I cannot wait to read. I always, I've always want like, I always really like a good villain story where you get the villain's point of view. I'm getting a letter from the author, which I think is great. And then you're also getting a fairy scoop. It's like a little thing they put in every single month, letting you know about the box. They have an interview with the author, which I think is great. They also have like books to read next that kind of similar to that. They say Warcross is one of them, which is great because I love Warcross. Yeah, that was everything in the box. So I'm going to go over everything. I'm going to start with the items and I'm going to tell you my least favorite working out two my favorite item was in the box. I'm not going to count the books because both the books sound amazing. I'm excited for both. My least favorite thing is probably the pocket mirror just because I have a ton of them and I don't use them too much but I do enjoy the quote from it. It's still very very beautiful. It's just not my personal favorite. Go with the coaster. I do really 
enjoy it. I just have a ton of coasters and I still will use it, but either way, it's beautiful. Then I'll have to go with the print. This print is stunning. Like, I love it. It's beautiful. Then I'm gonna have to go with the candle. I would show you that, but the candle dropped and it literally rolled all across the floor. So candle's my number two. My favorite item, honestly, is this Death Eater pin. Like, I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna use it a lot. So the items in this box, the bookish items weren't that amazing, but I think that's because we have two books. So I am happy with that. I think the both of the books that were put in this box were stunning. So I think this box is a hit. Definitely villainous and full of villain tales. And I really enjoy it overall. So if you're interested in checking out Fairy Loot, like I said, I'll leave all their links down below. I highly recommend them. They're great. The people that run them are great. And they really put a lot of time and effort, as a lot of other book boxes do, into picking out their items and stuff like that. So please check them out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.